Ladies and gentlemen, at the last General Assembly, I announced Kenya's readiness to lead a multinational security support mission to Haiti at the Haitian government's request. Following the Security Council's authorization under Resolution 2699, Kenya has deployed 382 specially trained police officers to Haiti. Just a few days ago, I had the opportunity to visit Haiti, witness the work of our officers in the field, and observe remarkable progress on the ground. Our support for the Haitian National Police has significantly advanced the pacification of cities and towns, protected critical infrastructure, and relieved many communities previously held captive by criminal gangs. I also commend Haiti's political leadership for forging an agreement and a promising roadmap towards free, fair, and democratic elections. We are deeply grateful for the financial and logistical support from the United States, Canada, and other member states that are shouldering this heavy burden. This has been critical to the MSS's deployment thus far. However, Kenya and other Caribbean and African countries are ready to deploy but are hindered by insufficient equipment, logistics, and funding. I appeal to all member states to stand in solidarity with the people of Haiti by providing necessary support either directly to MSS contributing countries or through the UN Trust Fund. I must emphasize, however, that Kenya will deploy the additional contingent towards attaining the target of all the 2,500 police officers by January next year. The progress so far in Haiti demonstrates that what was once deemed mission impossible is indeed a present and undeniable possibility. Mr. President, we must candidly acknowledge that international cooperation in its current form has clear limitations. It is constrained by entrenched systems and structures that prevent effective action and meaningful progress. Since the last General Assembly, the global situation has deteriorated across multiple fronts. Conflicts have deepened, economic disparities have widened, and the climate crisis, crisis has intensified. To address these challenges, we must rethink and reform global collaboration mechanisms, making them much more responsive, adaptable, and impactful. 